Now it's time to take a sports break, a look at sports history on a daily basis. Hello, my friends of sports history. This is Darren Hayes of the Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast. Welcome once again to the Pig Pen, your place for all things great in sports history. And we are going to cover a sports break for this September 19th of all the greatest events that have happened on this date, the players that performed them, and the uniform numbers that they had on when they did that. Before we do that, I just want to make sure that you know that in the show notes of this podcast, there is an email subscription. You can get our newsletter each and every morning, 6.30 a.m. Know everything that's going on in the pig pen what articles have dropped what podcasts have dropped what audio dramas from Orville Mulligan's sports writer have dropped and posts from sportshistorynetwork.com that's e- really easy to do two questions to answer click the show notes click the email subscription now your jersey numbers for this September 19th are 10 42 17 7 20 40 number 24 25 and 5 47 3 21 80 and number 36 it all starts off September 19th, 1931. Lefty Grove, number 10 of the Philadelphia Athletics, won his 30th game of the season, a 2-1 to victory over the Chicago White Sox for Lefty Grove, number 10. September 19th, 1947, number 42, Jackie Robinson, is named the 1947 Rookie of the Year by Major League Baseball. September 19th, 1955, Chicago Cubs slugger Ernie Banks, number 14, hit a record fifth Grand Slam of the season. Can you believe that? Five Grand Slams in one season for Ernie Banks. September 19th, 1968, number 17 of the Detroit Tigers, Denny McLean, earned his 31st win of the season. And number seven, Mickey Mantle's 535th career of home run of his career from a McLean pitch as the Tigers wallop the Yankees 6-2 for the win. September 19th, 1973, Frank Robinson, number 20 of the California Angels, homered in a record 32nd Major League ballpark. Arlington Stadium, Arlington, Texas, against those Texas Rangers. September 19th, 1986, Chicago White Sox Joe Cowley, wearing number 40, tossed a no-hitter against the California Angels in a 7-1 Chai Sox triumph. September 19th, 1992, Barry Bonds, wearing that number 24, the Pittsburgh Pirates joined his godfather, number 25, Willie Mays, Howard Johnson, number 20, and Ron Gant, number 5, as having two 30 home run, 30 steal Major League Baseball seasons in their career. Good company to be in there. September 19th, 1993, Tom Glavin, number 47, wins 20 games for his third straight year. Great pitcher in Glavin. September 19th, 1993, the San Diego Chargers kicker, John Carney. He's clutch. He's number three on his jersey. Boots six field goals in an 18-17 victory over Houston to set a new NFL record with 29 field goals made in his career. Uh, September 19th, 1995, San Diego Padres, Can Caminiti, number 21, switch hit home runs in a third of just four different games. Caminiti could do it for both sides, that's for sure. September 19th, 2000, Ken Griffey Jr., number 24, he pinches his 400th home run, becoming the first major league player to reach the mark as a pinch hitter. September 19th, 2004, NFL's Oakland Raiders wide receiver Jerry Rice, number 80, ends his NFL streak of 274 consecutive games with a reception in a 13-10 victory over the Buffalo Bills. In September 19th, 2008, Greg Maddox, number 36 of the LA Dodgers, pitched his 5,000th career inning, wow, that's a lot, against the San Francisco Giants. September 19th, 2017, a new Major League Baseball record for the most home runs in a season was established when number 5,694th bomb of the season was sent into orbit off the bat of rookie Alex Gordon, number seven of the Kansas City Royals. There's your history for this September 19th. There's your sports break. Hope you enjoyed this history because we sure enjoyed bringing it to you. You can find more on sportshistorynetwork.com where over 30 podcasters are bringing you their their best and greatest guests and commentary on the history of sports each and every day. It's the headquarters of sports yesteryear. Also find more at our websites, pigskindispatch.com and jerseydispatch.com. Till tomorrow, everybody, have a great sports history day. Sorry, but my pitching coach just called timeout. He's coming out to the mound. I think I'm going to get yanked for a reliever. We'll see you back tomorrow for some more great sports history on Sports Jersey Dispatch Podcast.
We invite you to check out our websites, jerseydispatch.com and pigskindispatch.com. Not only see the daily sports history, but to experience the preservation of great events and people that play the games. Find us on Pigskin Dispatch. It's also on social media outlets of Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and don't forget the Pigskin Dispatch YouTube channel. To get all your daily sports history. Pigskin Dispatch is happy to be associated with the Sports History Network, the sports headquarters of yesteryear, found at sportshistorynetwork.com. This podcast is part of the Sports History Network, your headquarters for the yesteryear of your favorite sport. You can learn more at sportshistorynetwork.com.